has changed. It's worse, in fact. Mention of France is taboo. It makes Brookside look squalid. Mention of money's taboo. Daddy's broke. Mention of health is taboo. Mummy's ill. Mention of sex is taboo, as always. <coughs> what? Oh, it's a bit hot inside. Don't get flustered, Gordon. I'm not going to talk about sex. What are you going to call yourself? I don't know. King Kong. I'm very original. A bit difficult to move inside, though. Oh, well, you won't be getting up to anything with the girls, then, will you? <laughs> Mind you, I'm sure you'll have a fatal attraction for them. Feminism marches on, but there's still something tantalising about the naked ape. <laughs> I'm a gorilla, actually. Listen, what are you going to do about the perennial problem of parental permission? I don't know. I haven't asked yet. I mean, a party's one thing, but an all-night party's another, isn't it? Yeah, well, don't ask. Just tell them. No, nothing's changed. What? Now, what do you want? I need to make a trifle. But you know I'm useless at trifles. But you can make the base of a trifle. All right, I will make the base of your blasted trifle. Lucy! Don't complain to me if your guests get ptomaine poisoning. Where's the dish? The dish is smashed. Well, then how can I make it? Oh, you're hopeless. Oh, Look. Is there anything Lucy can do outside the kitchen, Anna? There are a thousand and one things that need doing. Well, just name one, mother. Lucy! What's the most pressing thing, your girl? The trifle! But there's no dish! Lucy! Lucy, will you please just shut up? Dad. Not now, Gordon. This, uh, would it be an idea if Lucy went to borrow a dish, Anna? Well, then why don't you dispense with the idea of trifle and give them Black Forest Gatto? Because I've promised them one of my trifles. I really don't think it's important that the dish should match, Anna. Oh, because they're slumming it anyway. Oh, God. No, nothing of the sort. Look, we'll explain about the dish. I'll explain if you like, but I doubt if it'll even be noticed. Go and borrow a dish, Lucy. Where from? Use your initiative. Fine. But I tell potential benefactors that there's more than an even money chance of it getting smashed. Just go, Lucy. Right. Get out of my way. Dad. Where are you going now, Sir Wall? Yeah, if you like. Hi, Lucy. Come in. Oh, yeah, this is Terry, my mate, and oh, this is Mike, our Karen's beloved. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were in finishing school in France. Well, obviously, I'm not. No, I was just home for Christmas. So I've been staying with friends of the family in Paris. Do you want a hand? Oh, no, thanks. Not my game. What is? Uh, backgammon. Oh, jolly hockey sticks. Well, I like Dirty Mary myself. <laughs> <laughs> you don't surprise me. Oh, look, just ignore him. He's gone soft. Do you want a cup of tea? No, thanks. I I actually, I'm on the scrounge. You haven't got a trifle dish, have you? Uh, yeah. Do you want to borrow it? Yeah, could I? For a couple of days? Yeah. When do you go back? I've only just got here. When are you going back? As soon as it's humanly possible. But below you all this, is it? I didn't say that. Well, Lester. Oh, that's perfect, thanks. Right. Not at all. A mere trifle, old chap. <laughs> I say, you're not trifling with her emotions, are you, old boy? Of course not. I'm just seeing that she gets her just desserts, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, then... I'd... Oh, just grow off, will you? You know, Karen, I've always wavered on the abortion issue, but occasionally you meet people who convince you that it should be as widely available as possible. Thank you. Bye, then.